Judge J. Michael Luddig, a prominent conservative jurist, has argued that Donald Trump should be disqualified from holding federal office based on Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. This section states that no person who has engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the United States shall hold any office, civil or military. Luddig's argument rests on several key points. Luddig maintains that Trump's conduct surrounding the January 6 th Capitol attack constitutes insurrection as defined under the 14th Amendment. He cites Trump's false claims of election fraud, pressuring state officials to overturn results, and his inflammatory rhetoric on January 6 as acts that incited the mob to disrupt the lawful transfer of power. Intent and Knowledge Luddick argues that the 14th Amendment does not require proof of criminal intent or even a formal conviction for insurrection. He emphasizes that knowledge of the potential consequences of one's actions is sufficient for disqualification in Trump's case. Luddick asserts that he knowingly instigated events that aimed to overturn a legitimate election. Historical Precedent Luddick draws historical comparisons to prior applications of the 14th Amendment, particularly during the Reconstruction or following the Civil War. He argues that past interpretations of disqualification for insurrection support his interpretation in the context of January 6. Public Interest and National Security Luddick contends that allowing Trump to hold office presents a clear and present danger to the U.S. constitutional order and national security. He suggests that Trump's past actions demonstrate a willingness to subvert democratic processes and disregard the rule of law. Role of the Judiciary Luddick maintains that the judiciary has a duty to uphold the Constitution and ensure its faithful execution. He views his interpretation of the 14th Amendment as a necessary safeguard against potential future attempts to undermine American democracy. In conclusion, Judge Luddick presents a comprehensive legal argument for removing Donald Trump from the ballot based on the 14th Amendment and his alleged role in the January 6th insurrection. Whether his interpretation prevails remains to be seen, but it has undoubtedly reignited significant legal and political discourse regarding constitutional safeguards and accountability for potential threats to American democracy. Also, I must add that Judge Luddick believes the rule of law is following the democratic process to determine Donald Trump's fate, and it should not be determined by an election. This is why there is a constitution and a bill of rights. The U.S. is a country ruled by the rule of law.